Hi, I'm Chris Strawn, one of the librarians here at Northeastern Illinois University. I'm responsible for a number of things here at the library, including acting as the liaison to linguistics, TESOL, philosophy, SAIL, and most importantly for you, the College of Business and Technology. The purpose of today's video is to give you a brief overview of the library resources that will help you along your path as you progress in the College of Business and Technology. I'm going to start by showing you how to find these resources. And the best way to do that is to go to the NEIU Libraries website. From the NEIU Libraries website, scroll down and go to Research Guides. Every single topic taught here at Northeastern Illinois University has a guide. You'll notice, for example, that we have accounting, um, African and African American studies. For the purposes of this video, let's scroll down to the Business Information Sources Research Guide right here. All of our guides contain similar information, usually with information on finding articles and other information like that, as well as information on how to contact your subject librarian. If you have any questions about how to do research or how to do, use the library, please feel free to contact me at the information provided here. We also have a number of video tutorials that will assist you in using many of the resources that we're going to discuss today. Today, we're going to touch on four sources that are offered through the library. Those are Business Source Premier, Capital IQ, IBIS World, and CRISP. We won't get into too much detail on how to use all of these, but I do want to show you where they're at, how to access them, and what they can do. Let's start with Business Source Premier. Business Source Premier is an article database. So to access it, we click on Articles. And then in this list of databases, it's the very first one listed. As you can see by the description, it contains full text articles from well over 2,000 journals, covers a wide range of business disciplines, and it even includes company SWOT analyses and profiles, as well as industry reports and country reports. When we click through, we're taken to the database. If you're at home or using a personal computer, you may be asked to log in. I haven't been asked to do that because I'm here on campus today. Finding information, articles, and other information is as simple as just entering a few keywords. Let's say we're interested in the automotive industry in Germany. There's no need to use words like and, in, or the. Just type in the keywords, hit enter, and we're given 105,063 results. What makes Business Source Premier so powerful is that it's more than just an article database. If you've used article databases in the past, you'll notice that they tend to be focused on scholarly articles, so things written by academics for academics. Business Source Premier has a huge range of trade publications and industry-specific articles that aren't necessarily academic, but still contain valuable information. Like other databases though, you can filter the results. So we have a filters button here that allows us to select all sorts of information that we want to exclude or include. So for example, if we click on language, we see that there are a bunch of articles in German. We may, may want to exclude those. We can filter by publication date. And as you scroll around, you'll see a number of other filters that will help you find exactly what you need. If we click on source type, you see that we have only 7,151 results from academic journals, that the majority of publications in this search are from trade publications. We also have industry profiles, SWOT analyses, and so on and so forth. So if you're looking for articles for a paper that you're writing, Business Source Premier is a great place to start. Let's move on to Capital IQ. If you look at the Business Information Sources Research Guide, you see Capital IQ right here underneath Business Source Premier. Capital IQ is a source for information about corporations, um, and it's complementary to IBIS World, which we'll talk about next, which is a source of information about industries. One thing to know about Capital IQ is that you have to create a separate login that is distinct from your NEIU NetID and password. So very often, if you're doing this from home, you'll be prompted to log in and then have to log in again. 
So as I click through, you see that it's asking for my username and uh, it will ask for a password after that. This is separate from your NEIU account and you may have to register. Sometimes this can be a little bit complicated. Feel free to reach out to me if you encounter any issues. So once I've entered my username, I click next. Then I put in the password that I created for this account and sign in. Let's say I'm interested in UL Solutions. This is a recent search I've done. You can just type that in. You can use the stock ticker. You could use the full company name. And it gives us a huge amount of information. And um, here on the left-hand side, you can see all of the information that they provide. So again, this is a fantastic source of information about uh, corporations and just about any information you want can be found here. The next library resource I wanted to talk about is called IBIS World. Um, as I mentioned previously, IBIS World has industry information. So we can click on this industry information tab right here. You can see we've got a great video posted already about NAICS codes, which is a useful way to search through IBIS World. But as we scroll down, we see a link to IBIS World right here. No need to create a separate account for IBIS World. You just log in with your regular NetID and password. So while I mentioned that Capital IQ is best for companies and IBIS World is best for industries, both of them can do some research on the other. So you'll notice up here in the search box that it does say you can search by company. But again, if we scroll down, we see all of these NAICS codes, North American Industry Classification System codes, uh, and the associated industries. So we could search for them, or we could just click on one, um, let's say fast food restaurants in the US. We've got a whole lot of information about things like revenue, performance, where uh, these corporations are located, um, and it's really convenient because you could download the entire report as a PDF or just this chapter. And again, I just showed you how to click on one, but if we go back and try to search, let's say uh, we're interested in automotive. If you type in automotive, it gives you a bunch of suggestions. So let's say automobile interior manufacturing in the United States is what we're interested in. This will take us to the same report. So again, IBIS World is great for industries. Capital IQ is great for companies. The final library business resource I want to talk about is CRISP, or CRSP. CRISP stands for the Center for Research and Securities Prices. Now this is very different from the previous three items we talked about because it's a standalone piece of software that you have to run from a specific computer. So the only way to get access to this is to create a reservation in the library's research and publishing lab or to use one of the computers that are located in the College of Business and Technology's labs. The reason that this has to be installed in both is because this is a joint effort from the NEIU libraries and the College of Business and Technology. Um, and it's not currently online, which is why we have to use the specialized software. So if you ever have to use CRISP, just be aware that your professor will teach you how to use it and show you all of the details uh, for finding all of this information. It's a huge database, very complicated, but I want everyone to be aware of this because if you ever need to research historic stock or securities prices, this is a great place to look. So today's video was just a brief overview of some of the most important resources offered by the library that will help you as you progress through your career as students in the College of Business and Technology. If you look around the Business Information Sources Research Guide, you'll see lots more information. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have about using the library, finding information. Um, one of my specialties is government information, and there's a ton of data on business that's provided through the government. So please feel free to reach out.